Hi guys and warm greetings from the sunny hills of the Rhine River. My name is Valentine and in this video we'll have a look at the ins and outs of Newman the CLI companion for Postman. If you haven't watched the previous episode I'll link it right here on top. Otherwise let's just continue with this one. As in the latest video we'll have a contest right at the end so make sure you do not miss that and watch the entire video. Enjoy guys! If you've been following so far, then in this video we'll have a look on the ins and outs of Newman and more specifically we're gonna look at a more advanced usage of Newman. Now let's get started with this tutorial. As you remember from the previous video, we have managed to install Newman and to successfully run this collection. Now let's go back to Postman and see something there. So, from the first request, let's imagine that we want to introduce an error. And of course, for that case, I'm just gonna change the test. And you will see here that the test now is failing. But if I'm executing the collection again, you will see that the execution itself is still successful. There are no failed tests. So you see here, failed column is zero. And you're probably wondering why exactly is this happening. And this is happening for one particular reason. The moment we went here and shared this link, this is like a snapshot from the collection as it was at that time. And if we don't click this update link, the collection will stay exactly the same. So Postman will not update this collection for us. And there are multiple possibilities on how to get around that. The first possibility is of course clicking the update link over and over again but this doesn't work for all the situations and again it's some manual work and it will definitely not work if you're working inside a team. So first what I'll do is to save this collection as a file and the way that I do it is go right near the collection, click, click the three dots and hit the export button, select the latest version, select the latest possible version of the collection, in my case this is version 2.1 I'm gonna click export and inside a folder I will save the collection with a name that is given by Postman. Now when I open the terminal window again I can go inside the folder and let's simply list the files here and you will see that I'll have a file here Postman collection and so on. So this is the name of the file. Now, if I want to execute this collection, all I have to do is, as previously, Newman, run, and then I will type in the name of the collection. If you're unsure about a name, or if you have a particularly long name, I will always recommend that you put double quotes between the name, so that this string looks properly. So let's now hit enter. And now you will see that Postman executed this collection. And now the request is failing because the status code is not 201. And exactly what I wanted to demonstrate is that now you have a file, you have a representation of your collection on your file system and then Newman can run that file again. And what you can do with this file is to put it in a git repository, commit it every time you make a change. Of course, that process isn't that great, but this is an option on how you can make the communication between Postman and Newman by exporting the collection every time you make any changes to it. Okay, there's one more possibility on how to do that. And for that, we're gonna first open the documentation of Newman. So the documentation of Newman is available online and I'll be posting a link in the description so that you can check it out as well. I'll highly recommend you look over it because you will find a lot of useful stuff inside. And we're gonna explore some of the options that are inside the documentation, but it's not possible in this tutorial to go over each and every configuration, but hopefully we'll cover the most important ones. Now, right here in the documentation, we're gonna go 
right here back where it says using Newman with the Postman API. And this is a process that takes some steps to complete, but I'm sure you'll be very satisfied with the result. Now, what is the Postman API? The Postman API is a way to interact with your collections by using an API. So if your Postman app is already connected with an account, you already have an account at Postman. And by generating an API key, you can use an account to access your collections. So let me show you exactly what I mean. I'm gonna click here, generate an API key. I'm gonna select a workspace where my collection is in. And then I have here a tab called integrations. You can browse integrations. You will see here the Postman API and I can get here an API key. And this is the API key that has been generated now and I can use this API key to access my collection. So let's see what happens next. Now, I can take this address from here and go to Postman. And I will replace the API key with the API key I have previously seen. So now let's hit the send button and see what comes back. And this is a list of all my collections. There are a lot of collections. And I'll be looking for the collection called Postman Collection. And now I have to make a note of this particular ID. So now what I can do is to get the collection link by using the UID. So all I have to do is in collections to get this ID now before the API key optional parameter. So this will look something like collections slash and then I'll put this ID. And now this is the request that I have here and I'm using the API to retrieve it. So again, the UID is what you have previously seen and this is the address on how it should look like. Now, let's take this address now, go back to the terminal, I'm gonna clear everything. So I'm gonna type in human run and between double quotes, I will post the link that I previously had. So this is the link to my collection with the API key inside, referencing a particular collection in my all entire collection requests. So now let's run. And you will see that the tests now are failing here. So let's go back to Postman and fix them. And the tests that were failing are the tests that were here. So let's make sure locally that everything is still working. In the background, Postman already synchronized the collection that I had. Now, after I made a change, I can run the same thing again. And you will see that I have no other errors and I didn't need to export any files or something like that. So basically, these are your main options on how you can integrate between Postman and Newman. You can either generate a link, which you will have to manually update every time you make any changes. You can export your collection as a JSON file and put it inside Git or wherever you like and make all your changes there. Or you can use the built-in API of Postman and do that. Of course, if you have the pro account, you have the possibility of working in a team and multiple people can work on the same collection and make changes. So my advice would be to try all of them to get an idea on how they work. And then you will be able to better understand everything. So far, we have looked at a very simple example. So where the entire collection was there and there's nothing else, there were no external dependencies. But you're probably already using environments in your collections, for example, for addresses and stuff like that. And it's important to understand how you can get them to work as well. So 
let's see in this case we have no environments here but let's quickly create one let's call it production and I'm gonna see here URL and this will be HTTPS HTTPWin.org so this is the address that I've been using for this particular request and I'm gonna click here add this will be added here and just replace the address with this environment variable I will select the proper environment and now the request of course is working I don't have to do it for the other request but now you can imagine what will happen if I go back and execute this request once again now everything is failing because it's not able to interpret the environment variable that i have given here so url here is not defined because newman at this point has no idea of this environment then the variable url is undefined is not found it's not be able to replace it and then newman tries to get this address which of course doesn't exist and everything fails so we need to find a way to tell Newman about our environment. So for that, we're gonna have a look again at the Newman documentation on how to do that. And you will see here that there are in this section two command line options. There are some options that you can give when running. So the command so far has been Newman run, and then you give the collection as a link or as a file then you have the possibility of specifying options and one of the first options that we're interested in specifying is this environment option because now we have an environment and we want to reference it so what we are going to type is dash dash environment and then specify the environment so again newman run we have our address I'm gonna make a space make this a bit smaller and the problem that we have now is that we don't have an environment and for that we have two options just as with a collection we can export the environment or you can grab it by using the API and now because it's much faster I'm just gonna take an environment that will be locally exported but of course you should be consistent so if you're using exported collections you should export your environments as well if you're using the postman api then you should use the postman api to get the environments as well but i'm gonna mix things a bit here just to show you that it works and how it works so let's go back to postman in this case i'm gonna view the environments click on edit and right here there's the possibility of downloading the environment and i will put it right below the collection so now if i look inside the file system i will see here that i have an environment called production postman environment so dash dash environment space and then between double quotes just to be sure paste here the path to the environment and then hit enter and now everything works perfectly because Newman is finding the collection is finding the environment so it has all the information it needs to properly run the collection and this is how it works and these are all your options on how you can run collections now going back to the command line options my advice is to have a look on all the options that you see here because some of them are important things that might help you when you're using Newman so make sure you're familiar with everything that's being said here but what I've shown you in this video should cover like most of the use cases that you will encounter but be familiar with them 
Now, as I have promised in the beginning of the video, we are having a contest again and you can win an online course on Postman, which is like 10 hours of Postman tutorials and explanations and assignments and a lot of things just to have a good understanding on how Postman works. And you can win this online course created by me if you're one of the first three viewers to respond correctly to this competition. And the question is, what do you have to do this time? And what you have to do is to run a Postman collection using Newman. Uh, you can take the, your collection or you can take any other collection that you please, what I've shown you in this tutorial or a collection on your own. And you have to generate an HTML report. And in order to do that, you will have to take a look at the documentation to see how you can do that. And once you've done that, make a screenshot of the HTML report that has been generated for the collection that you run. Make a screenshot of it, upload it somewhere and post the link in the comment section below. And if you are one of the first three viewers to correctly do this assignment, you will win the online course. This is all for now. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video where we're gonna have a look on how to integrate Newman inside Jenkins. See you next time. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos on Postman continuous integration, testing and much more. See you next time. Bye bye and make sure you check this video right here.